Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I hope y'all can hear me because it's a little loud out here on the Las Vegas trip. I just finished preaching. I preached for a good while. And it was really, really hot. The sun was draining me. Whew, I started thinking about how hot it's going to be in hell for those who reject the saving grace of Jesus Christ. It's going uh, to be a hot day in hell for those who reject the saving grace of Jesus Christ. And it's not just going to be a day. It's going to be day after day after day after a day. It's going to be eternity. And praise God, I'm just thankful that the Lord has saved me and if you belong to Christ you need to be thankful every single day rejoicing in your salvation that Jesus Christ died for your sins that you have been born again by the spirit of Jesus Christ hallelujah because the Bible says that if you are not born again you can't enter into the kingdom of God it talks about that in John chapter 3 it says Flesh gives birth to flesh, but spirit gives birth to spirit. So the ideal here is you must be unified with the spirit of God. The spirit of Christ must come into your life. And the spirit of Christ is not a holy standard. It's not a, a statement of morality. It's not some type of moral code. It's the spirit in the presence, the person of Jesus Christ who comes to make his abode inside of us. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And we become sons of God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. So it doesn't matter how much knowledge you have, you know, how much intellectual understanding you got. If you're not born again by the Spirit of Jesus Christ, the Bible says in Romans chapter 8, you don't belong to Christ. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. So while I was preaching, I preached for a while, and um, they had this one so-called Christian that accused me of judging. So basically what I was doing was I was judging people. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. The Bible says in John chapter 7, I believe it's verse 24, that we are not to judge by appearance, but to judge with righteous judgment. In other words, we are to judge by the truth of God's word, make righteous judgment. We are to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ and bring conviction to these people and plead with their souls, let them know that they are sinners. We are to judge by the truth of God's word and make righteous judgment. The Bible says that a spiritual man judges all things, but he's not rightly judged by anyone. So glory be to the Lamb of God that one Christian thought that I was judging. But you know what I believe it is? I believe we're in such a, a generation of darkness where these false preachers have seduced the people into thinking that these weak, soft preachers are what preachers of the gospel are supposed to be about. And when they see a preacher that's coming, preaching with the anointing of the Holy Ghost, calling sinners to repent, warning of the judgment to come, because they have been seduced by these false preachers, they think that the anointed preacher is coming out there and just messing everything up that he's wrong and the bible says in john chapter 16 verse 8 it says that when he talking about the holy spirit comes that he will convict the world of sin righteousness and judgment to come so when you look at that scripture you have an understanding that he in scripture is talking about the holy ghost so when a man is filled with the Holy Ghost, he's going to be moving to convict the people of sin, righteousness, and judgment to come. He's going to be talking about these th three things. He's going to be preaching around these three things because the Holy Ghost looks to convict people. So glory be to the Lamb of God. I just pray that y'all are blessed today. I'm trying to get me something to eat. I thank y'all for y'all prayers. 
And I just pray that y'all continue to fight the good fight of faith and wage a good warfare in Jesus' mighty name.